Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I want to share with you the absolute easiest way to develop your child and get them ready for school. So stay tuned. All right, so let's jump right into it. So the easiest and the most natural way to get your child ready for school is to include them in your day-to-day -day activities. So what me and Rafi and Joey, come here Rafi. What me and Rafi and Joey love to do what do we love to do together? What do we do in the kitchen all the time? And that's why I'm filming in the kitchen. Because we love to do what? Play. Play? But how do we play in the kitchen? We cook and we do our dishes. Yeah. Right? Yeah? yeah? What's your favorite thing to cook? Brownies. Brownies. Yes, we actually made brownies today. So if you think this is like nonsense, it is not. There's so many activities involved in just making a brownie, which is include mixing, which is including the wrist turning. So that's really, really important for their hand strength. Measuring eggs, figuring out, you know, the temperature, like putting the temperature in the oven. Of course, I put the stuff in and take it out, but they follow, they see the process of it rising, cooking and changing. And of course, the joy of eating what they've actually cooked. That's incredible. So that's one of the things we do. The other thing is doing dishes with them. I tell them it's either Joey or Rafi, whose turn is it to do dishes? And that's so meditating and relaxing for them. It gets them ready for bedtime. It gives them something to be proud of and be like part of the family. So they love doing that most of the time, <laughs> unless they have something else going on. The reason why it's so important to involve your child in those tasks is because this is when things like planning, following step, using motor skills are right there. Like you don't have to invent anything. You don't have to buy any toy that would teach them that. You are spending quality time with your child while teaching them those skills. And this is really the most natural way to develop a child. It's so sad, but the children that live in the city environment, they don't have too much of the outside life where they can just go in the backyard and play with like go on the swings, climb something, collect bugs, water plants. Every third child that raised in the city suffers from a speech delay. Especially if you live in a city environment, make sure you involve your child in your day-to-day -day, uh, household tasks. This is the best and easiest way to make sure that they are not falling behind in their cognitive development. Okay, so what's the easiest way to involve them? I remember when my kids were really young, even like one, one and a half, I remember when I was cooking something, I would put them in a high chair next to me and I give them a cutting board, I give them a plastic knife and a banana and they would chop bananas next to me. I'm chopping carrots, they're chopping bananas, then they're eating those bananas. But any soft food that the child can cut, that would be ideal. So do that and then slowly like change things up, give them something else, give them like something maybe harder, maybe soon enough give them like a metal knife, like the butter knife and progress from simple to more complicated. At ages four and five, they should be able to cut with the regular knife. But of course, under close supervision um, until maybe six or seven when they're a lot, little, a lot more comfortable. Grocery stores. My favorite is Lidl. So I don't know if you have that in your area, but what I like about Lidl is that they have those kids' cards. And what I tell my kids is, okay, here's your card, go pick what you wanna eat. But you would think they would load it with junk food, but they, my kids don't. You know, they select a lot of fruits and vegetables that they like. My son loves carrots and ranch dressing, so that he always picks that up. Uh, lettuce for salads, they like bananas, avocados, mangoes, uh, grapes, uh, different berries. And then they help me put it on the conveyor belt, help me pay for them. Ever since they were little kids, I always tell, gave them my credit card and they would stick it in the, the machine and they would read it and then wait for the beep, take it out, things like that. So they're very independent that way. They know how to pay for the groceries. Uh, they know what to get. And then when you come home, they help me unload. They know where things go, what goes in the fridge, what goes in the pantry. Easy, but huge developmental activity. Okay, laundry. So when it comes to laundry, I still do laundry. So my kids are five and six. 
I do the laundry, I, dry, I put stuff in the wash, I switch to the dry just because it's so hot. It would be incredibly hard for them to do it right now. It would be a lot of work, so I don't do that. But they do help sort stuff and putting socks together where they match socks. A lot better than doing those matching in the books, right? You find the same socks, you put them together. We like to put the outside rubber band on one of the socks around the full you know, set of socks. So they've been doing that for a long time. Put stuff away in their drawer, so they've been doing that. Just one thing about that, make sure your um, dressers are not full with stuff. So go through the declutter that make sure they have like maybe three or four items in each drawer, like four shirts, four pairs of pants or shorts, whatever is seasonal, um, and keep it easy for that. Cleaning, when I do cleaning, I always make sure that they help. I give them a rag, I give them, well, when they were younger, now they do it when I ask them. <laughs> but um, sweeping, wiping the windows, I give them Windex, I give them a little rag. Uh, they feel like they're part of the family and they do their part of uh, work. Also, like pets, after five, age of five, you can give them a pet. So we have <laughs> three pets now. We have a guinea pig, we have a hamster, and we have two fish. So my son is responsible for feeding the fish, giving hay to guinea pig, and my little one, he just got a hamster. He's responsible for cleaning his cage and feeding the hamster. So keeping my fingers crossed, everything's been fine so far. Everybody is well and alive. But I mean, it's still a little bit of work for me, but it's not nearly as bad as if I had to do the whole thing by myself. Another thing I wanted to mention, but that's mostly for little kids, is making sure that your child can dress themselves and address themselves by age three. And make sure they can zip their jackets at age three. When I was subbing at um, my son's preschool, I noticed a lot of kids, actually majority of the kids at age three did not know how to do that even at age four which is the next class half of them didn't know how to do that anything has to do with self-care make sure the child does it at age three absolutely like as to the best of their like ability so dressing and dressing cleaning hands uh, wiping their face when they're dirty make sure they have a little mirror station for them with wipes with wipes when they can clean themselves and throw that uh, wipe in the trash that's right there of course when they take in their baths make sure they wash themselves you will, at age three they should be completely able to wash themselves and especially in their like private areas after three it's it's not your job anymore it's their job so that's pretty much all I wanted to say is that cooking, cleaning, washing, self-care is super, super important. Teach your kids, it's a win-win. The more independent they are, the easier it is for you. The better self-esteem they have, the more confident they are when they go into school. And you don't have to worry about sitting with them doing stuff that they might hate, like doing all these ABC traits. You should not really do it before the age of five anyways, but I know a lot of here, people here in America do that and that's pretty much the most acceptable way to develop their kids is to sit them down and ask them to do like different tracing and, um, and letters and sounds. Don't, don't fall for that. Natural development is the development through household chores through crafts, if you can do crafts. Um, I wish I did more crafts with them when they were growing up. If I had to do things differently, I would do a lot more crafts with them. I am at this point now, like they know how to do everything. <laughs> I just need to kind of create a mechanism where I don't have to remind them. So I heard that the best way for this is to create like an award mechanism. So agree with them, okay, if you do all these things, like if you make your bed, if you get ready for school, uh, get dressed, brush your teeth with reminding me to do this. Um, at the end of the week, we're just maybe gonna go to Dave and Buster's, whatever they like to do. Or if you don't do that, then I guess we're not gonna have a movie night. Or we are not gonna go to Target and buy a toy. Or use your gift card for something. Like you can create something that they like and versus don't like, but make sure you have positive, uh, also positive things. So if they do it, you'll give something positive. If they don't do it, then they won't get something that they like. So, so I'll try that out. I'll tell you how that goes. In the meantime, I'm wishing you and your family all the best. Thanks so much for watching. I know it's another long video, 
but I, it's just also important to me to get that out. Just because in today's age, our kids don't get the same uh, opportunities as our you know, grandparents had when there was no TV and uh, everything was done manually from dishes to gardening to, I don't know, like all the stun stuff we take for granted these days. I think a lot of people would agree that we're not heading in the best direction right now. So let's give our kids the future that they deserve and the one will be proud of. All right, best of luck to you and your family. Love you guys. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye-bye.